Good morning. There are two instructions for those that have been sent away captive to Babylon. What are they? Our reading today is at Jeremiah 29, verses 5 through 9. Here's our reading. Build houses and dwell in them. Plant gardens and eat their fruit. Take wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands, so that they may bear sons and daughters, that you may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive. And pray to the Lord for it, for in its peace you will have peace. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to your dreams, which you cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them, says the Lord. So this is an interesting reading here, isn't it? We're we're going to carry on from yesterday and on the next couple of mornings this whole letter from Jeremiah. But now here we're getting to some of the meat of what's going on. First thing, there's two things. There's two main pieces of guidance right here. What are they? First, build houses and plant them. Live your lives. Pray for the peace of the city. Go ahead and plant a garden. Go ahead and plant some trees. You know, work it out. You're going to be there a while. Do what you need to do so that your family will thrive. Don't stop marrying. Don't don't uh, don't go off a cliff somewhere. Go ahead, and you've been moved from place A to place B. Now, now let's rework this. So, number one, go ahead and live your lives. Live your lives for me. Live your lives as right people. Do it there in Babylon. I sent you there. I'm putting you in a different situation so you will have that experience. And then the second one was what? Don't listen to these false prophets. You have prophets and and preachers and people there in your midst. They're telling you. A word, supposedly a word from me, says God, but it's not from me. He says, I haven't sent them, but what does he say? And again, we had it in verse 8. Do not let your prophets and your diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to, listen to what it says, nor listen to your dreams, which you cause to be dreamed. That's a very interesting line, isn't it? The people want out. How easy it would be for them to say, hey, let's plot a, a rebellion. Let's uh, let's plan how we can how we can overthrow this government and get back to the to our kingdom. Let's start a, a, a subterfuge, an underground thing, movement, and go in the right way. God sent them to Babylon. His plan was not for them to uh, raise up a secret resistance. They are to live their lives in a godly way, and they're to avoid this risk of following their own dreams. How easy it would be for them to uh, to put out words and and go back and forth and think that they're getting a message from God to cut short this captivity. No, that's not what's to happen. God says, I've put you there. I haven't sent these people. It's very easy to follow our own plan. But when God upends our world, we need to realize he might be doing it for our good. He was doing it for their good. And we would be in rebellion against him if we resisted his purpose in this way. So he gives them a warning. Be careful of the people. Don't listen to your own dreams. Very interesting, but if you have the heart of a rebel, not not too surprising. A word for the people sent into captivity because of their great corruption. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our prayer today. You've warned your people, build your lives where I send you. Do it right. Don't listen to your own dreams, your, your mistaken, misguided dreams. So, Lord, help us. Help us way back here uh, thousands of years later. Help us to get it right. Help us, Lord, to live godly lives in the midst of this culture which is crashing and burning around our ears. Help us not to try to get out of the purposes you have for us. Just show us how to take the next step. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, we should accept the places that God puts us accept the situations that he puts us in, and let him do his work that way. He knows just exactly what we need to go to the next level spiritually, and he's going to take us through those tight places if we'll only trust him. God be with you today in all that you do.